Oh, give an odd bee, I mean, fails, you know, it's swap fails. Yes. Eff it cutlet come down, mm. and maul it, muck it all, sweep it all over land. But and uh, doesn't your husband know something about molehills? Eh, uh, he's a real odd mole catcher, he's cut tomb <coughs> Hey. When did you do your housework in this busy life of yours? Why, well, I used to get to get nights and months, and maybe a wet day come, and then we were in. And did you make bread at night or something? Ah, uh, made bread, I baked at night. If it was a baking day, I used to say at the living oven. The man I told not only at night when I come jam, and then I'll be in the baking as soon as I come jam. And it was the same of a washing day, I used to say, no, the man I cup around and it was a yacht. Yeah. And then I'll be in the washing. I always used to do my work at night when I'd gone out of days. Washing at night as well? Oh, yeah. Mm. We knew the time. What kind of food did the farm worker and his family get formerly? Oh, I don't know. Brown bread and treacle and uh, what? Hot meal and milk. Yes. Well, milk, you know. Some on them got, some on them got cod milk bed winter and summer. Mm. Potatoes? But, Any potatoes? We got, we got potatoes to the dinners. Yes. And meat, you know. But you know, but you still had a bit of meat about yesterday, I said, I mean, uh, dinner times. They never got that near me at mornings and mm-hmm. nights. Trickling bread and trickling cake. What, what but about, apple pie. What about sweets? Sweet, good heavens, we didn't know what a sweet cake was. We never had a bit of sweet cake. No. I never knew how to vote them while it for I was wed. Conditions must have changed greatly in some years. And I'll tell you what, they want to change again. Mm-hmm. Did you have a large family to bring up as well? Hey, uh, I fetched nine up, we brought nine up. Yes, have you any grandchildren? Aye. Van Bairn, aye, plenty. Thirty-five Grand Bairns <laughs> and seven Great Grand Bairns. Well, how did you manage to bring up such a large family? <coughs> well, they brought up themselves, poor little beggars. I used to eat in neat and sow at neat and, and set them to sow as soon as even they could sow. Yes. And, and they never had no. They were all as up here in jazz. We lived next year to a policeman. Yes. And I used to ask priests and wives to just look at them and see if they were all right, you know, when I was out all there. And they never had no in my bands, never. Had you only a small cottage for your family? Hey, we had it first. But we didn't, we, we got into bigger houses, you know. As a family grew, we got into big houses. We never lived in, uh-huh. in, a man of, in a less than three bedrooms. You were better off than many families. Hey, better off than some of them at the left. Why, what the noble left dog kennels? You can't swing a cat about around it all. It kitchens. I never seen out like them. I've seen them at Brobby. And uh, what have you to say about the smaller families nowadays? Yes, why? The we ain't have them. Uh, if they had a good lot of bands as we used to, we would like to stop at jam and work for them. And knit and sew and look by these flimsy new made, ready made things for them. They would never keep themselves in if they had a great mm-hmm. family. We buy new things like that. You would have to make a lot in your day. Aye, aye, aye. Knit, knit, knitting forever and sewing and all. We made all the things. And they mm-hmm. made the wear things, you know. They know what wear about two garments and then the dress. <laughs> Didn't you find some of the tasks too heavy for you during your many years <coughs> as a farm worker, Mrs. Hover? Well, yes, we used to have a, a good hard sweat sometimes when we had a hard job, but we always pulled through. Yes. Uh, in our this time, you know, we had hard work. I once had a hard job at knocking a, be- a pier stack. Mm-hmm. My after went away, I did some work, and, and three owners had to start and, be- and st- lead these lead this piers. Yes. <coughs> so we got nicely started, and that's the way it was work. And thought, man, he says, I want to be sick. I says, no, what? He says, I want to be sick. Well, there was near you up here, as I got this anyway and down. No, I says, I'll stack myself, Libby, if you can fork. Oh, hey, I will. And she we got on, and we made that. Yeah. I made pure stack all right, but it went a bit to the side. <laughs> and she, it never took down on and out of that. No, it didn't tack water. She, when a threshing there comes, master says, Hey, look here, did fellas, that's stuck a toad woman made all aside. <laughs> I said, well, never don't mind. There was no but you yet, there was a lot to lean. And what did you do on threshing day? 
Oh, we were on jobs for women. We used to cut salves on machine top, you know. Yes. But salves. And we used to carry cap occasionally and carry water. Hmm. You would always have been accustomed to early rising, I suppose. Hey, I've risen always at night, but I've risen at one o'clock and half past to go to wash, to washing days. Yes. I used to go about one o'clock to tin to wash. A hard washing, but there used to be two owners. Yes. And we used to be banging away at it about seven o'clock. And then I went out to the farmhouse just across the road to another washing day. And I used to wash there well dinner time, me and glass. Yeah. We always got there and be dinner. Two days in one? Aye, it was that was the summer time. Mm -hmm. And how much did you get for washing? I used to get a shilling a day at the spot, a shilling a top of buns and a shilling a tin. And are you still an early riser? Why, no. I know much rise about half past six, half past six <laughs> of the morning. So that's not early. I've no today, I've no today, so I would be up. Did you help your husband with his work? Aye, I used to money time. Did he all sorts of work? And did you have to use a scythe? Hey, he used to go and more thistles. He used to tuck the air because of thistles to more. Mm -hmm. and, and he hadn't much words for him, where this was bad then. Yes. And I used to tuck him all his mate into his fields. And he used to whittle it all day. Over dinner time, he used to say, oh, then, more's a few thistles. And I asked him, some thistles time. He was at his dinner. Mm. Uh, did you ever work with horses? Horses, eh? Hey, I've done all sorts of horses, and that anybody knows. Mm. I've done all but plow. Yeah. I've harrowed, I've read thrillers, I've horse-reaked, and I've had to leave coal, corn. Yes. And then I've let coal's money a ton for my mother be. I used to go for a quarter of a ton, an half a ton, for forks. Mm -hmm. And I, they used to say, they'll get rich with leading coal stammer. <laughs> where, where else did he fill the coal? Why, near body. I says, one pair of me to give a lot of trippings to help me to fill coals and nobody get nothing for me saying. Well, that was only a shilling then. And nobody got a shilling for a quarter of a ton of coals. Mm. <clears throat> they used to ask to get rich. What do you think about the many women who are being trained for farm work nowadays? Hey, why? The guy to train them, I suppose, but they'll take some training No, they forgot no to work. <laughs> but however, the man tried. Mm -hmm. It'll be very useful on the land when we see scarce a man, if not to get lent. Mm -hmm. And the trousers will come in useful. I never like to see women in trousers, but they're all right now. They can't work on the land, they'll want trousers and strong beards. I'll bet you could give them a few hints. Uh, yeah, uh, but I dare give them some hints and all if I see them. And what have you to say about the tractors and new machinery on the farms now? Well, I'll tell you what, they're a very useful thing, particularly about tools. Yes. They, they help. Farmers grand, the sea of horse flesh, and the sea of men and all. Did you ever find an easy situation when you were in farm service? No, we never had. We were all thriving and working. We, if we weren't working at us, we were working out of dears. We yeah. were all at it. I am thought I would leave them. I had chance of a spot at all, and and see I went. And mm -hmm. I stayed a guy out to work. I went into work. I'd never worked a day before. You couldn't and take it. You couldn't take it easy sometimes, then? You could have been, <laughs> if you thought you were, you could have been a bit lazy sometimes, but it didn't pass to slip things and be lazy. Haven't you often gone out to help a neighbour when there was sickness in the home? Neighbours, eh? Hey, I've gone... Oh, I've gone miles round. I've walked as far as three miles to anybody, to lay anybody out dead. Yes. And I've led, gone out to confinements, walked two or three miles, and then I've gone for about a month to wash and dress bare and wear that woman at morns and nights. Mm -hmm. And I always used to walk. Yes. And we never got any pair. We used to sort of get some at game, you know. Yes, help one another. Aye. Uh, yes. But, uh, I'll tell you what, all villages, it isn't a big one, but I think I've laid folks out of every year of doses. Mm. That's over 50 years, isn't it? Aye, it's over 50 years. Mm. I've laid as far as five, four things out in one house. Yes. Do you still go out to work? <coughs> no, I've about given up. I can't go to help me daughter, yard daughter. Yes. Uh, she has a great family, you know, and it's a nice spot, and they've plenty of work to do today, and I go as to help her to wash, and, mm -hmm. and then I go as to help her Friday to clean up when she's baking, and I go as every Friday. 
I didn't mm. get no money. I get a few eggs sometimes and a bit of butter. It all helps. Yes. When will you reach your 79th birthday? Oh, 2nd of September. And have you got your new bicycle yet? Oh, I ain't gotten a brand new one, but I've gotten a good one. But she's a bit too big for me, but she'll let it go. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I've never tumbled off yet, and I don't suppose I shall tumble off her. You were still going to ride? Oh, well, uh, I'd just never get near spot if I didn't ride. Did you make your own clothes when you were a young woman? Hey, we used to make all our own clothes. Uh -huh. We used to make our frocks, with skates, and petticoats, pennies, and aprons, with me, and with bonnets, print bonnets. Mm -hmm. And knit our own stockings. We all had had knitting stockings. Black ones, yes. and even near coloured ones. Oh dear, dear, coloured stockings, <laughs> I can't swallow them at all. Well, what do you think about women's clothes these days? What do you think about them? Are they all right? Why, right. they're dear. They're, they're, nobody, they're nobody covering, there's near warmth in them. I, I, no, I yeah, think when they gone out there to put a, a good top coat on to keep them warm, <laughs> they're not but flimsy things underneath. They don't wear such clothes as we used to wear. Oh, they're rather heavy, weren't they? Aye, and warm and comfortable. Mm. Uh, what do you think about the RP in the villages now? Why, you know, it's best to be fit to say we can't have a war, and it's best to be prepared for it. Are you believing in being prepared? Aye, and we got more gas masks, and I've had mine on ever see off. They say, Tamara, aren't you fighting the smothering <laughs> it thing? I says, me, I aren't smothering mine. I've had it on and off, I would have. But my master isn't on his own. Nobody else. So I didn't know he'll come on if he had to wear. What kind of amusements did you have when you were young? Oh, we used to... We had nobody on my amusements. She marked my sweet. We never went off to near spot. Maybe used to be a wedding in the village. Yes. And then we all were asked. We used to go. And hey, games of all sorts it us, you know. Mm -hmm. I asked with a can and I went in in my clogs. And they were all set room spot, and I says, what, you didn't know, you didn't know. <laughs> and I, I just take out of my clears and pick me frock and peri, frock and skates up. And I started to clog dancing to all and by gum, that they started to laugh. <laughs> they laughed pretty day, you know, that it set them off. So you had clogs on, had you? Aye, I, I could clog dance, but I never danced to shows, but I could clog dance, and I come today if I had me hard clogs. Didn't the villagers run races at weddings? Hey, we all ran races. We were all up to that job. It was which one us could get a prize. Mm. I once won a stay on the floor myself. Yes. And my father once won a hoe, and my mother a, a pond of tear, and another sister a bit younger than me, she got a print bonnet. Yeah. And lads, farmer lads, you know, they were in for running for ribbons. There was always a ribbon to run for. Mm -hmm. Maybe three yards of beautiful ribbons there were. And then, you know, when they got a ribbon, then they didn't want it themselves. They used to get it last. <laughs> and I bet they do the same today. Ah, uh, what, I'll tell you. <laughs> they'll be capped if ribbons was to come out again, but uh, they didn't come. Do you like singing? <coughs> hey, nobody in the better. Mm. I do like singing. But we are not, I never could play a note, you know, but I know I'd go go. Uh, that's a Jew's harp, isn't it? Well, yeah, a Jew's harp, <laughs> you, you call. <laughs> and, you know... We, Dan was says a melodian, and he can play it, and I can't sing to it. Mm. And we, that's where we spend our nights. You win the time or only time or say, come Dan, let's get to our melodian out and let's have a tune. And he'll start to play. And I, I tell him what I want, mm -hmm. yes. what I know, and uh, can sing, you know. We play where well, sometimes he'll play for an hour and never stop. And there we are, building and singing. What do you usually sing then? <coughs> oh. Chop hymns and Christmas hymns. Yes. We, we didn't go in for chapel hymns. Uh, did you join in the fun at the village club priests? Hey, that was a rare good do, but we, mm. by, we had some work to do. Yeah. But we didn't care. <coughs> we had turkeys to clean and cabbages to clean and boil and lettuce and cucumbers and all them sort of things to clean and fit for dinner at yan o'clock for nine. Plum puddings to boil. They were mm -hmm. the boiled there for, but that to be boiled up again. Yes. And uh, we had four in and a to clean, and me and another woman, and uh, carry same on his pans into the village, cut his uses to get them boiled. And share them out a bit. Aye, mm -hmm. and beef and mutton and veal pies. We had four veal pies. There was, there was 65 men. Yes. And we had a pen to put some out to eat. <laughs> I should think they did. <coughs> and we got a good sweating. We were waiting on them. 
but we enjoyed it. Mm. We used to get in, we were about 10 o'clock at night. We had those donkey rides for them that liked them, and, yes. and stalls, you know. Yes. Bought on salads and sight like. Did you ever have an outing to the seaside? Hey, I am, son. We, we were Mrs. Sally Reeve, and she says, Tell me what I got to, to Scarborough River, and I said, Hey, I ain't got out. I says, I ain't a money. You better <laughs> give me some. She says, well, I will ten shillings do. I says, hey, ten shillings will do you. And she, uh, where we went, it was all fast far when we left Cabin Moor, started to go to Scarborough. Mm -hmm. And she says, no, tell me, what will you do all there? Oh, I says, I shall be all right. All, I know an out about Scarborough. <laughs> I shan't be lost. And I know anybody here. And first spot I went here to get some tea. And, <laughs> uh, thought I'd let some tea and I'd last some milk here. There's yes. somebody else getting some and say, uh, then away I went down to the sands. I didn't spend a lot of time at home. Mm. I, I, I didn't say I, I went on a trip at sea. Did you have a donkey ride? Uh, no, I had a Galloway ride. Oh. There was a little lad come to him and he says, Are you going to have a ride? I says, Well, I don't mind. He says, I'm going to have a pony. He says, Will you have one? Hey, I says, I'm as good. <laughs> so we got on and it was a penny a ride. Yes. And I, I think he maybe wanted a penny out of me, but however, he didn't get young. We galloped at the end and come back to the other, and I didn't know which one was one, but I had a jolly good day, and I never seen anybody I knew. Did you ever receive a hiring penny <coughs> or festive Martinmas time? Hey, that woman. Yeah, she gave you one, she, didn't she? She got my trip me a bit. She said I was the tight room me neck. Hmm. Well, Mrs. Hoggart, I'm afraid that brings <coughs> us to the end of our allotted time, so yeah. I must thank you very much. <coughs>